So we got some major spoilers today for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Basically, the game broke street date in Mexico. Somebody got a hold of it, and it's being data mined. So we have a ton of information. We have a lot of stuff that's extremely spoilery, especially for, like, Classic Mode and World of Light. So if you don't want spoilers for that sort of stuff in Smash, do not watch this video. I'm going to go over a bunch of stuff. I'm also going to put in the description a bunch of lists. We have the list of, like, every spirit. We have lists of all the Mii costumes. We have the cutscenes from like World of Light and the intro to the game and stuff like that. So if you want to look at any of that stuff, I'm going to put it in the description here. So rather than just read you guys a big giant list of stuff, um, I wrote down some highlights that I found within all this information, uh, and I'm just going to go over that give my opinion on some things. So uh, first off, there were 30 placeholders found for characters. So that would leave us with 107 characters if they actually used all of those character placeholders. That seems very unlikely to me. I feel like they're just giving themselves a ton of breathing room. It's possible we get a ton of fighter passes, I guess, um, you know, for years and years and we end up with 107 total characters here, but I find that unlikely. I think it's much more likely this is just um, to give themselves breathing room so they can add as many characters as they want, but it's probably more likely we'd get uh, just the five from this fighter pass or potentially another fighter pass, maybe two um, after the first one. There appears to be 1,101 pieces of music in the soundtrack, and that's where a lot of this information is coming from. So we're making some assumptions here. I'm going to go over what bosses people think are in the game, and most of that has to do with uh, having a track in the music section that says boss and then the character's name. So, you know, take that how you will. It might not be totally confirmed. It's not like people have seen actual, like, uh, footage of this happening in the game. We're going off of data mined information like text files. So in the files, there is some evidence that a planned character was cut. This seemed to have happened uh, in Smash 4 with uh, Krom, the Chorus Kids, and we, we know for sure Ice Climbers were supposed to be in the game until the 3DS made them um, undoable. Uh, so we have some information in the files that says Isabel Z91, and then it goes to Incineroar Z93 with a missing Z92. Um, so that seems to be a first-party newcomer as uh, the... Third-party characters such as Simon is Z97, it's later on, so it's most likely it was some sort of Nintendo uh, character. A lot of people are thinking it was someone from uh, uh, Style Savvy, actually. Um, so there's some evidence of that due to just, again, music tracks and stuff like that. Um, so it's possible we were supposed to get a Style Savvy character. It's also possible Style Savvy was just supposed to get, like, a stage or something in the way that, like, Electroplankton, you know, has um, its own icon and a stage and stuff. Um, Tomodachi Life is like that so it's possible it's just supposed to be a stage but we are missing a character here so yeah who knows what that character was that didn't make it so again this is going off of like text data from within the game so not 100% confirmed but this appears to be who the bosses are in this game um, it appears to be Ganon Marks from uh, Kirby, and Ganon would be uh, like Ocarina of Time's um, Ganon, like Pig Ganon, final form type thing. Um, Rathalos, Galeom, which don't get confused with Galeem. Galeom was the, the robot thing. I think we saw it in the last Direct, the big uh, purple robot guy from Brawl. Uh, Dracula, Rathalos, Galeem, and then someone named Dars, which appears to be some, like, dark character, and then Galeem's, like, the light character, um, and then there's a Galeem plus Dars, like, final battle. This is, again, what it appears to be. Um, that also goes along with Giga Bowser, Master Hand, and Crazy Hand, who are also, um, probably classic mode bosses. They may be in World of Light as well. Um, and then we also have Dracula having a Dracula 2, which likely is some sort of, like, demon form, like a second boss fight with Dracula. Um, Master Core doesn't appear to be there, though I heard someone talking about uh, something um, like the Fortress form or whatever uh, being, maybe the music is in or something. Someone mentioned that name. Um, and then it doesn't look like we have um, Taboo, uh, du Duan or whatever. There was another boss from Brawl that I don't think got in. I forget his name. I think it's like Duan. Um, Rayquaza doesn't appear to be there, and Porky doesn't appear to be there, and more on Porky in a bit. So again, I just made a list of like highlights about this, so I'm just going to go over this. Um, and again, it is a text data mine, so if something is wrong here, if something doesn't end up being in the game, um, yeah, there's that, but this is probably uh, what we're going to get. So uh, there's a total of 1,297 spirits, so almost 1,300 spirits. That's pretty crazy. Um, besides Shantae, there's also a Risky Boots um, spirit. So Shantae got a little bit more uh, representation than just Shantae herself as a spirit. 
spirit. Plague Knight, King Knight, and Spectre Knight, along with Shovel Knight, are all spirits. So as far as um, indie game stuff goes, uh, you know, yeah, they got a pretty good amount of, uh, of spirits there from Shovel Knight and Shantae. So while it pains me to say this, Gino is in fact a spirit in this game and not just a token. He is in the spirit data here. Uh, Melo is also a spirit, which is pretty cool. Uh, and they are the only square spirits besides Cloud. Cloud has two spirits. Uh, and then there's Gino Melo, and that's it. There is a very, very, very little square representation in this game. It really does seem like Cloud was the last character added, and Stealth was right about that. Um, he is not even unlockable in World of Light, apparently. he Maybe he unlocks when you beat the whole game or something, but Cloud is not a character that's like within that mode. So it does seem like Square uh, was the last holdout and they probably barely came back here. Um, I'll go over a few other things that aren't in uh, from Square in this game in a little bit. Um, and also just interesting on Gino and Malo being spirits, they are considered Mario characters. They're in with the other Mario characters. So that's pretty cool. So with Gino being a spirit, I have to kind of go over, do I think spirits deconfirm characters or not? Uh, I think there's two ways to look at this, honestly. I don't think it helps his chances, I'll say that. Uh, it definitely would be better if he was mysteriously missing from here. And I will go over some characters that are mysteriously missing as spirits who could be DLC characters. Um, but yeah, there's two ways to look at it. Basically, one way is spirits don't deconfirm characters. There's a ton of spirits who so deconfirm way too many characters. It also kind of reveal Nintendo's hand if, you know, the characters that aren't here are the DLC characters, as there's a very small small amount of them, uh, besides like, you know, third party characters from say companies that aren't in yet. Um, and it's possible also that they uh, do deconfirm characters. Um, it's possible that, uh, you know, they chose the spirits along with the DLC characters at the same time. And why would they choose someone to be a spirit while well, they chose the DLC characters? For instance, Piranha Plant does not appear to be a spirit here. So, you know, obviously he's DLC. We already know that. So maybe they chose not to make him a spirit because he's going to be a DLC character. That's totally possible. Um, it's also true, however, uh, like I said, with Cloud having two spirits, um, you know, there's a ton of Mario spirits. There's like four Pac-Man spirits. Um, yeah, I mean, the playable characters do in fact have spirits. So I don't know which way this is going to fall in the end. Uh, I don't think we're going to know until we get all the DLC characters, whether or not spirits actually deconfirm characters. But I am taking this as a bit of a hit against Geno, though I will say because of how little Square content is actually in this game... Um, yeah, it's possible Gino is the, if we're getting a square rep, is the square rep, because there is almost no square content. I'll go over it in a little bit, a few other things that aren't here. So just a cool little tidbit, um, Funky Kong's shack is in World of Light, and there's dialogue and everything. I believe he sells you spirits, so that's just kind of cool. I think he is a spirit as well, but it's just neat that they took that from, you know, the Donkey Kong Country series, put it in the World of Light uh, game, like the, the that mode, so that's just, I don't know, it's just really cool. As a big Punch-Out fan myself, I was really happy to see Doc Lewis appeared um, when you're like training the spirits, so I just like little nods to Nintendo games like that. I always think that uh, is something that makes Smash really special, to be able to put stuff like that all together in one game. So while we do have a good amount of third-party spirits showing up in this game, not from Square, however, like I said, two for Cloud and then Gino Mello, that's it. Um, we do not have any me costumes returning from the third party uh, companies. So any me costume that was third party, a lot of the DLC was third party me costumes, not here. Nothing from Sega, nothing from Capcom, nothing uh, from Namco, and nothing from Square. So there is no me costume for Gino. Uh, there's no Chocobo hat even. Um, so what could that possibly mean? I don't know if we're going to get me costumes later on that maybe you have to pay for somehow. It didn't appear to be part of the fighter pass. Um, it's possible they're like free DLC, though I feel like maybe part of the reason they're cut here is so that, um, you know, third parties can get some money for, for when they're actually sold. Um, we will see what happens with that, but it's very interesting. There's still like, there's like nothing here. So extremely lucky Gino is represented at all in this game. If, um, you know, we end up not getting a square rep or something and, you know, it was just square was this huge holdout and they are just really stingy about everything. And all we got was, you know, the bare minimum here. Very happy we got Gino and Mello as spirits even. Um, it's also, again, possible that Gino is DLC or something. I'm, I'm not losing hope completely here. Um, totally still possible, so we'll have to wait and see. 
So there are some interesting me costumes this time. There's actually an Isaac me costume. So Isaac fans, you will get to play as Isaac in that way. Um, there's a Dixie me costume. Um, there's a, a Saki me costume. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of me costumes of like, you know, characters that I know a lot of people really like and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, feel free to look again in the description. I'll leave a full list of the me costumes that people have seen, um, the spirits and everything else. Feel free to look at all that yourself. Cause I'm just looking over the highlights to me that I saw, but there's a lot of cool stuff in there. So with all the me costumes from the third party companies missing here, um, there are some characters that are just totally gone in any form in Smash. So it's possible, um, you know, maybe one of these guys is going to be DLC. Uh, Heihachi from Tekken, um, that's kind of my number one choice for Namco representation. I actually like Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia a bit more, but he's the one I think would probably get in. Um, he seems to be totally out of this game. Um, it's possible Lloyd is a spirit, uh, not totally clear, um, as I know the little like fire hydrant people from Animal Crossing are called Lloyd. Um, so I, I think it's spelled different though, but yeah, it does appear Lloyd's a spirit in some way. Some of the other missing ones are like Jackie from Virtua Fighter, uh, but we do have Akira as an assist trophy character. So, you know, maybe that's enough for Virtua Fighter. Um, and then there's Gil, um, who I don't think is probably going to happen. Uh, Monster Hunter, um, also something, I think Rathalos is probably the Monster Hunter thing, but it's possible we get a Monster Hunter DLC character. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so those ones are like totally just missing from the game. Um, some other very interesting missing characters as spirits are... Um, Adeline, Adeline, Ad the painter girl from um, the Kirby games. Uh, she's totally missing. So I don't know if Nintendo would choose her. She seems like a, a Sakurai choice or whatever. And I don't know how fans would feel if um, you know she got in and not Bandana Waddle D. Um, but yeah, she's missing. Um, very interesting though is Porky appears to be missing from anything. Porky was a boss in Brawl. He usually gets a lot of like trophies and stickers, and I don't think there's Porky anything in this game so i don't know if they'd push a mother character I, nintendo seems pretty dead set on just like you know burying the whole mother earthbound series behind them um but yeah porky was a big part of smash before and he's just missing here it's also possible if they do finally localize mother 3 in some way um if nintendo's choosing the characters they would possibly choose a mother 3 character i was saying before um you know if there's actually a nintendo sword using character like katagi was talking about I don't know if that's true or just completely nothing. Um, I was guessing maybe it'd be Mask Man if they, um, you know, localized Mother 3. But yeah, it could actually be Porky, who has a pretty big history with Smash already. So that would be really cool. I would really like Porky as a character. Um, Silex is also missing, and supposedly Silex is going to be a really big part of the next Metroid Prime game. So it's possible Silex is one of the DLC characters, again, chosen by Nintendo to promote that game. That seems pretty likely to me, um, though I think the other other hunters are also missing, so um, like Weevil and them. So I don't know if that actually points in Silex's direction or if they just didn't represent those characters. Some interesting stuff from some of the Palatina guidances we haven't seen yet. Um, Alucard and Richter both pop up for Richter's guidance, uh, pretty similar to like Krom popping up uh, during Robins, so that's pretty cool. Um, Bayonetta's guidance uh, actually has her uh, combos like called into question that they're like too good and stuff. Um, so yeah, I always like the Palatina guidances, and yeah, I'm happy they're back. Um, Ice Climbers get a, uh, a reference to uh, having banned illegal teaming in past games, so I don't know if that's a reference to their wobble, but that's pretty cool. Um, Pitt says he knows Simon, which might be some sort of uh, subtle reference to Captain N, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so there's some cool stuff to uh, look forward to in those guidances. Inklings Palatina's guidance has Verdi talking about how she's totally fine with humanity going extinct, um, which is, you know, what has happened in Splatoon. So that's just pretty funny if you know um, Kid Icarus games, Verdi would be totally fine with humanity being totally wiped out. That's it's just pretty funny to me. So now some not completely confirmed stuff. Um, home Run Contest and Break the Targets may be in the game. This is, again, based on, I think, the music tracks. Um, and there was a rumor about, like, a day one patch that would add some new modes. So possible we're getting those back, but don't quote me on that for sure. Um, World of Light supposedly has three maps, a light map, a dark map, and then a light and dark map at the end when uh, Galim and... Uh, Stars, I think the name is, um, Fuse. So yeah, that's possible. We're getting three maps there. Um, and then someone has seen um, the codex in the, the, the uh, data mind info for Smash here. So I don't know if that means we're actually getting new codex. I kind of seriously doubt it. I think maybe, maybe they return the codex from Brawl and that info is just still 
in here, so it's possible the characters from Brawl still have those codex. Again, don't quote me on this stuff. This is, you know, uh, the stuff that is even less confirmed than the other stuff, and basically none of this is for sure. This is just someone data mining, um, you know, text files from the game. Tons of information here. I just wanted to get that info to you guys as quickly as possible. So I'm going to put um, some links to some lists in the description, and uh, I'll update that if I get more information here, more lists. So uh, I don't have the music list right now, for instance. So I'm going to put that up if I get a hold of that. And I think the me costume list isn't complete. I'm not totally sure about that. Um, but yeah, we have all the spirits now, so we can look at that. I don't know if spirits deconfirm characters or not. There's definitely something to be said about the mysteriously missing characters, um, like Porky and uh Possibly like a style Savis character. I, possible. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's some possibilities there. Um, I'm not losing hope for Gino, though. I think there's a couple of ways to look at this. There's, you know, way too many spirits to deconfirm everybody, so why would they deconfirm everybody? That's one way to look at it. Another way is, um, you know, Piranha Plant doesn't have a spirit. Uh, there's some missing characters, so obviously there's still room for some of those characters to be DLC. And if, you know, say we only get five DLC characters, you know, it doesn't need to be that many missing characters. Uh, but would Nintendo show their hand that easily? Also, we have like 30 spots for DLC characters. So again, I don't think we're going to actually get 30 characters, but um, it's possible we'll get characters beyond the fighter pass now. Who knows? And it does appear that Square is being really stingy this game. So if Virgin is right and we are getting a Square character, it is possible that Nintendo only has the rights to Geno. We don't even have Chocobo back anymore. So yeah, that's you know, pretty good. It could be a Gino and Malo combo of some kind, which would be really cool. Um, but who knows? We, we don't know that for sure. We don't know who any of the characters are going to be. It's possible there isn't even a square character. It's possible Virgin's wrong. I hate to say it's possible Virgin's wrong when he's been right the whole time. I don't like going against him like that. Um, but with Square being this stingy, now that we've really seen how little is in the game and how late Cloud might have been added, who knows for sure. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think of all this stuff. I, I think this is a ton of info, um, you know, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of interesting ways we can now look at stuff. So this is pretty much going to be our information going forward for DLC. Um, so yeah, who knows? Um, as a final note, again, um, for just characters, you know, spirit characters possibly being not deconfirmed, um, on one hand, we do have playable characters with spirits. On the other hand, Piranha Plant isn't one. So I think that's the biggest thing to look at here. Uh, the one DLC character we know doesn't have a spirit, but, um, uh, all the playable fighters that we do know of do have spirits. So maybe when Piranha Plant comes in, they'll get a spirit. Uh, if we don't get a character announced between now and Piranha Plant, uh, I know there's a lot of talk we're going to get one at the Video Game Awards, but if that doesn't happen, um, if the square character isn't the first character shown, if there isn't a square character, you know, whatever happens, um, I think that that's pretty much the biggest thing to look at. If Piranha Plant gets a spirit when it comes in, um, like a spirit event mode fight or something, that would probably mean the rest of the DLC fighters will too, and that probably means spirits do deconfirm characters. If it doesn't, however, then, um, you know, it's possible a DLC character will happen and the spirit was already in the game. I, I really don't know. It could go either way. So, yeah, that's going to be the debate going forward for sure. So, once again, Thank you guys for all the subscribes, all the likes, uh, really helps out the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so, or like the video, or leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, have a good one.